More than 500 parliamentary lobbying groups seem to have disappeared since the general election, and there were only 553 to begin with. So what's going on here? Well, all party parliamentary groups are groups of MPs and Lords from different parties that work together on different policy areas. And they can be totally legitimate and really effective vehicles to get policy change, but they can also be a route for corruption. So at my society, we've been paying a bit of attention. And the number of APPGs has shifted quite a lot over the last year or so because there have been new rules, but we've never seen a change like this. In the 30th of May register, there were 553 groups, and in the register that was published yesterday on the 28th of August, there were just 34. And so the decrease of over 90% of groups was a bit alarming. So we looked into this and we found that actually the reasons behind it might not be that worrying after all. So one of them is just that there is one new rule that's come in since the election, which is that MPs can only be an officer of six groups. Another one is just the size of the opposition. The nature of them being all party means that they have to have MPs from or a member of the House of Lords from the official opposition, which is now the Conservative Party. When the Labour Party were the official opposition before the election, they had 206 MPs, and now the Conservative Party only have 121. But we think that actually the biggest factor that's going on here is just summer holidays. We just think it's an admin delay because there were only three basically working weeks between Parliament coming back after the election and finishing for summer recess for them to have their AGMs where they elect their officers and to fill in all the paperwork that they need to. And so we think that they've probably been working on this stuff over the summer, that they'll be having their APPGs and their AGMs when they come back next week and that hopefully we'll see a lot more groups re-register in the next um, edition of the register which should come out towards the end of September, they come out every six weeks or so. We'll be paying attention and we'll keep you updated. We have a great new project called Who Funds Them which is looking at both this and the register of members financial interests and um, we did a blog about that yesterday um, and a video so do check that out. Um, so yeah please follow along with us at My Society and all the work we're doing on Who Funds Them if you'd like to see more transparency in politics.